this time so you are basically taking the class from from your workplace because sometimes for example uh, when you are working in pairs i can i can i can listen like you and another classmate so that's like in the same place okay great so uh, i can hear a, a, a noise is it is you, is it you? I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Thank you. Um, did you complete the sentences? I sent you a, a group of sentences with uh, do and does. Did you complete it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Great. So we're we're gonna check that information. I, I send you um, some uh, questions to complete with do and does, just to make sure. Because we need to practice a lot of this. Let me see if I can pull it out here. Uh, just one moment. Yes, this one. So we, we said uh, number, number one is do you get up late on Sundays? Good. Misael, number two. Do you have lunch and come every day? Okay, very good. Yes, and uh, Ms. Lilian is coming too. And what about number three, Herson? What time does your father leave work right? Exactly, what time does your father leave? It, what, what is the meaning of leave? Uh, let me see, uh, Alexander, what is the meaning of leave? What is the meaning of leave? Vivir. Again? Vivir. No, that is live, but this is leave. Live. Live is. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. it's, it's like go. It's like go, exactly. Yes. Okay. So we have number four. Let me see, Claudia, number four. Your mother on weekday? Claudia? 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 Okay, I think Claudia is not there. Okay. okay uh, Oscar, thank you. I already I checked your information. What about number four? Uh, uh, does, does your mother cook on weekend day, day? Does your does your mother cook? Yes. Puedo escuchar un un yes. There you go. Now that was great. Okay. So number four is does your mother cook on weekdays? Okay. Good. Liliana, number five. 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 Does your father shop on sa Saturday? Does your father shop on Saturdays? Correct. All right. Caesar, next number six. 
Do you take a walk in the uh, evening? Do you take a walk in the evening, right? Do you evening, take? Right? Do you take? That is correct. Number number seven. Uh, let me see, Harrison. When do you listen to music? When do you listen to music? Okay, yes. Uh, Claudia, number eight. What time do you check your email? What time do you check your email? Yes, it's correct. And number nine, let's see uh, another one. We have Raphael, number nine, Raphael. Rafael, Rafael. Okay, Ruth, help me with number nine. Okay, what time do your parents have dinner? Yes, do your parents have dinner? Exactly. Uh, next, uh, let me see, Misael, number um, ten. When. When do you study English? Okay, when do you study English? Yes, good. Uh, so Oscar, next, number 11. Uh, does your best friends ride a bike on weeks? Weeks? Weekend, weekend, weekend. exactly. Does yeah. your friend, because remember, friend is singular, is he. Does your friend, yeah, that's correct. Alexander, number 12. Uh, the audio, Alexander. Does your father drive to work every morning? Exactly. Does your father drive to work every morning? Yes. So here we have a WH question. Remember, like what uh, we have when... And, and so on and so on. Let me um, let me go back and then we're gonna practice these questions. But first, let me see. Uh, we need to work on these uh, more information questions. Just give me a moment. Let me check this. Okay, remember that we have we have the WH question. What is the WH question? So we have what the other one is when what is the other one where where exactly all right so we have where another one who who, who. correct yes so we have who another who. one can mm -hmm. why why okay. why another one how okay and we have another one like which so we have a wh question so this is what we have uh let me see we have a wh question later i'm going to extend it and uh, we need to have the formula formula so the formula goes like like this uh so you need wh question and then you need do or 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 does okay and then uh you need the uh, subject subject okay and then you need the verb you need a, a complement and you need a question mark so, WS question, do or does, subject, verb, complement. For example, we have a WS question, and then I would say, for example, uh, Ruth, give me uh, an auxiliary. Ruth, Ruth, give me one auxiliary. Hello. Give me one auxiliary. Uh, what? One auxiliary. Auxiliary is do or does? Uh, do. Okay, do. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. Dennis, give me one subject. Subject. Um, mother. Again? 
Mother. Mother. Mother? Sí, mother, mother. Okay, mother, mother. okay. but no. remember that no. we, mother is third person, is thus. In this case, I have do. So mother is not right. You need to have oh, so, uh, uh, She. But she and mother is the same. Recuerde, el, el das es para tercera persona. Estamos utilizando do. Necesito un I, we, you, they o un plural. Ajá. Uh -huh. We. Yes, exactly. Do we. All right. Now I need a verb. Necesito un verbo. Let me see. Uh, Caesar, give me one verb. Caesar, a verb. Caesar, one verb. Give me one verb. Caesar, are you there? Uh huh. Give me one verb. Play. Play. Okay. Verbo, cualquier verbo. All right. Good. So, play. And then I need a compliment. Let's say, Misael, give me a compliment. In the park. In the park. Okay. In the park. But listen to this question. I have this one. What do we play in the park? Right? ¿Qué jugamos en el parque? What do we play in the park? Yes, it's correct. Yes. Uh, it might be right. Yes. Okay. Remember that we need auxiliary. Or if I change it, for example, does. What does and then your mother do? What does your mother do? Okay. Oh, she cooks, she prepares, uh, and she does. Yes. Another one here, like auxiliary do. Like when do you take Oh, let, 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 me, let me change it. Like, um, when do you go to church? When do you go to church? There's a long answer. When do you go to church? I go to church on Sunday. Maybe, right? For example. Uh, for example, I can say it. Uh, where does Oscar live? Donde vive Oscar, right? Necesitamos el WS question. Necesitamos el auxiliar que vamos a utilizar de acuerdo al sujeto. Necesitamos un verbo y un complemento, right? O simplemente el verbo y el signo de interrogación. Por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir, ¿Dónde vive Oscar? Necesito el WS question. ¿Cuál es el WS question? Alexander, ¿cuál es el WS question aquí? Si yo digo, where does Oscar live? Does. Das es no. el auxiliar. El WH question son estos que están en mayúsculas. Where. Where. Yeah, who. Where. Okay, we have where. Donde. Luego necesito el auxiliar que es das. Luego necesito el sujeto, subject, que es Oscar. Luego el verbo y si es necesario un complemento o simplemente signo de interrogación. Right? Donde vive Oscar? Where does Oscar live? O si yo le quiero preguntar de manera directa, ¿dónde vivís tú? Right? So the question is, it's like, where do you live? Yeah, no, live. Where do you live? Right? Where do you live? Uh, for example, uh, if you have this one, who? What is who? Let me see. Uh, 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 with uh, Ruth, what is who? Yeah. Uh, es yeah. una, uh, ¿Quién es? ¿Quién, ¿Quién? es esa persona? ¿Quién? Okay. Mm -hmm. Ruth, yo le digo uh, ¿Con quién almuerzas? ¿Cómo me formularía esa pregunta? ¿Con quién almuerzas? Uh, who, do you, who do you Who do you uh, Dinner? Uh, uh, lunch, oh, sorry oh, no. Almuerza, lunch, lunch. Yeah. Uh -huh. How do you lunch? Who do you lunch? Who do you, to lunch? Uh -huh. Who do you lunch? Que no es el verbo en pasado. No, estamos, no, estamos en presente. Estamos en presente. Have, 
el pasado ah. comiste. En este caso estamos en presente. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, para todos, recuerden, la fórmula, sorry for my Spanish, pero la fórmula está en, tenemos que tener, si son... Ah, how do you eat? Me falta el verbo. Falta el verbo, correcto. Mm -hmm. Ok, necesitamos el W is questions, que son el, el qué, el cuándo, el dónde, el... Ajá, uh -huh. el, el have. Y luego uh -huh. el auxiliar do or does, dependiendo del sujeto, luego el verbo y un complemento. Uh -huh. Yo, si yo have lunch. ¿Con quién almuerzas? Who do you have? Eat. Have. Lunch. Eat. No, no problem. Have or eat is similar. Have uh, lunch with. El with es con. No, yes, el with quién. En este caso, uh, en este caso, uh, con quién. Es con quién, pero si usted, si usted fija, si se fija en esta, en esta pregunta, el con, porque el with significa con, va al final de la, de la oración. No puedo decir o si usted lo pone, en español sería con quién almuerzas. Entonces yo pondría el with al inicio, right? Who, I'm sorry, with who do you, lo, do you have lunch? Pero eso es traducción, eso es incorrecto. Entonces el verbo, el, el, la, el, el with, va al final de la oración. Entonces, si yo quiero preguntar, ¿con quién almuerzas? Es, who do you have lunch with? Ok. Si yo quiero... Who do you have lunch with? Exacto. Esta es una respuesta larga. Ayer practicamos el yes, I do, no, I don't, yes, she does, no, she doesn't. Pero ahora son respuestas largas. Ahora, si yo quiero decir, Claudia... ¿Con, ¿Con quién juegas? ¿Con quién juegas? ¿Cómo estructuraría la pregunta? Who does who do who do you play? Again? Who, who do you play? Who do play? Who do you do play? Who do you do play? Which? Exactly, right? So we have this one. Recuerde, no tiene, no, no tenemos que saltarnos ninguna de las estructuras que están acá, porque si yo digo who do you, I'm sorry, I'm sorry if I say who do play with, no, no está correcto. Necesitamos el sujeto. Sería el W es question, el who, el, el auxiliar do, el sujeto, el verbo y un complemento. Who do you play with? ¿Con quién juegas? Right? Who do you play with? For example, if I want to say that, let me see, uh, for um, Rafael, are you there? Rafael? Sí, teacher. Ok, Rafael. Let me see, a, a question, uh, for example, if I want to say like, uh, ¿Con quién vives? How would you make that question? Who do, who do you like with? No. Ah, uh, pero like es gustar. Live. No, like. Remember, oh, do live. You live with? Um. Who do you live with, right? Siempre el, el with va, va a ir al final, aunque se traduce con quién, right? For example, uh, if I want to say, let me see another question for uh, another one. Let me see. Uh, okay, person. Si yo quiero preguntar, uh, ¿con, quién, ¿con quién viaja Oscar? ¿Con quién viaja Oscar? Who do you do? Who do you? La pregunta es, ¿con quién viaja Oscar? O, o, o cambiamos la pregunta, sería, ¿con quién trabaja Oscar? Who do you work? Ajá. Uh -huh. Who does you? Uh, pero en ¿Con este quién caso, trabaja Oscar? Eh, das. En este caso, recuerde, a uh, Gerson... Nos estamos refiriendo a yes. Oscar. Who does you? Yes. yes. Who do yes. Who does you work with? 
¿Y dónde, dónde entraría Oscar? Porque si usted dice, do you, do, do, do. Es, es como, ¿dónde, ah, do, okay. con yeah. quién trabajas tú? Pero me estoy refiriendo a Oscar, sí. en tercera persona. Who do, who do, do, Oscar, do Oscar, a Oscar, ajá. Work, work with, with. Work with, ok. Ahora, ahora si lo vemos desde un punto, tiene lo mismo, right? El, tenemos el WS question, who, el auxiliar, do. Tenemos el sujeto Oscar, tenemos el verbo work y el complemento, right? Who do Oscar work, work with? Pero, ¿cuál es, el, ¿cuál es el auxiliar para las terceras personas? Das. Das, exactly, right? So, you can say do, right? Who does Oscar work with? Who does he work with, right? So, he works does. with Misael, exactly. So, we need to create questions here. And another one, for example, here, I would say here, uh, why do you maybe uh, study English? Okay. Why do you study English? Why? Por qué? Do you study English? Si yo quiero preguntar, um, for example, I would say, Misael, si yo quiero decir, por qué se fue Claudia? Why? Why does Claudia get up? Why does uh, no. uh, Claudia get up? Pero get up es levantarse. Up. En este caso, no, no, eh, eh, irse, salir, irse. Out. Out. If go out. Okay. Go out. Why does Claudia get up? But in this case, ¿cuál sería el verbo salir? Es leave. Leave. Sí. Entonces la, sería la pregunta, ¿por qué, uh, ¿por qué se sale Claudia? Why does Claudia leave? Right? Why Pero does Claudia leave? Claudia leave? Uh -huh. O get out. No o get out, no yes. yes. O get out, yes. Correct. So remember, recuerden, doubles question, do or does, subject, verb, complement. Because we need to have more questions here. And, and then we have another one here. How? It's how... Do uh, uh, let me see how do you travel? Let me see. Uh, I would say, uh, Ruth, how do you travel to work? How do you travel to work? Ruth, in my car. Okay, so it's I travel by car, I okay. travel by bus. Okay, <coughs> all right. Okay. And, and for example, uh, let me see here, like, uh, let me see uh, which uh, color do you like? So for example, I would say Oscar, I'm sorry, no, uh, Walter, which color do you Hi. like? Which color do you uh, like? Uh, I, my, I like. I, I like color. <laughs> Is blue. Blue color. I like blue color. All right. Yes. I like blue color. I like yeah, blue. blue color. Yes. Good. They so, get blue. Yes. Remember what, when, where, who, why, how, and which. Ya no estamos como yes, I do, no, I don't. Ahora necesitamos respuestas largas. For example, I would say here, uh, let me see, uh, let me ask a question to, uh, I don't, let me ask someone here. Mm -hmm. Let me select one of you. Okay, okay, so it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Uh, person, a question here, like what do you do on Sunday in the morning? Sunday in the morning. <laughs> Okay, Harrison, what do you do on Sunday in the morning? What do you do? What, I'm sorry, what do you do, right? El, el primer do es el auxiliar, pero si el, el segundo do es el verbo de hacer, right? What do you do on Sunday in the morning, Harrison? 
I, I do. Uh, but, 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 que el, la, la pregunta es, ¿qué hace él el domingo en la mañana? Entonces, no necesariamente me tiene que responder I do, sino que usted me habla de sus actividades. Por ejemplo, voy a la iglesia, visito a mis amigos, voy de compra o, no sé, a chateo, veo televisión, right? Activities, like, for example. Uh, uh -huh. I go to work. Ok. Give me more activities. A lot of activities. Recuerde, estamos con, estamos con WH question. Eso significa information question. Significa que uno tiene que describir. Por ejemplo, si le preguntan, ¿qué haces el domingo en la mañana? Ok, so, uh, you can say, I, I go to I get work. up. Yes, I have lunch in a restaurant. I visit my friends. I go to church. I go shopping. I, I, I play soccer. I play video games. I don't know. I drink tequila and whiskey. I sleep. I, I, sleep. Drink, I sleep. Okay. A lot of activities. I drink. I drink beer. I drink beer. All today. Okay. For example, I have when. Like, for example, let me see. Um, uh, when, uh, uh, let me see. Do you watch movies? Watch movies. When do you watch movies? So it's a long, uh, long answer. I watch movies at night. In the night. I watch movies on Sunday or I don't know, right? So we have WH okay. questions. Now, if we, if we go to this, uh, let me see here, to the other questions. Here, okay. So we got this one, it's like, <laughs> This question, everybody has this question, right? Carlos, Carlos, are you there, Carlos? Carlos? Yes, teacher. All right, yes, you need to have your yes, teacher. ready. Okay, good. For example, I have a question here. It says, do you get up late on Sunday, Walter? Do you get up late on Sundays? Walter? audio. Yes. Walter, the audio. Yes. El audio. Walter tiene que establecer el audio. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Mr. But remember, yeah. long answer. Long answer. Do you get up late on Sunday? I don't know what is late. How do you... What is late is tarde. Tarde. Es, la pregunta es, ¿te levantas tarde el domingo? Uh, yes, mm -hmm. I get up. Uh -huh. Remember, long, long answer. Yes, I get up late on Sundays. Right? Yes, I get up at uh, 11 a.m. I get up at 11. I don't know, right? Or 10. The other one, for example. Okay. Yes. I'm sorry, pregunta, pregunta. Para responder, digamos que para responder, eh, quizá la parte que no me queda clara es que cuando usted nos pregunta, do you get a play on Sunday? Nosotros tomamos nuestro, nuestro, por ejemplo, I get a play on Sunday. Nosotros, nosotros agarramos el sujeto y el complemento para responder. Correcto, porque recuerde que ya estamos con preguntas abiertas y ya está, estamos dando más información. ¿okay? Entonces, Pero también, o sea, sería... Sujeto, verbo y complemento. Exactly, yes. It's like a, like affirmative. For example, here. Um, mm -hmm. uh, let me see. Uh, here, number seven. Number seven is when do you when listen, do to you listen to music? Okay, it's like, ¿cuándo escuchas música? Okay, entonces usted tiene que dar una respuesta. I listen to music, take I a shower. Listen, I listen to music. Oh. In the car, right? I listen to music at night. I listen to music in the morning. I listen to music at work. I, I, I listen to music in the shower, taking a shower, right? Take a shower. Okay, yes. So then uh, I listen to music. What about the other one? For example, it says number eight. Liliana, read number eight is... 
Question number eight. Do you take a wall in the number evening? Number eight. Number eight. eight. Sorry, sorry. What? time do you check your email exactly what, what time, time do you, do you check, check your email correct okay so la pregunta es a qué hora revisas tu correo entonces ya la, la pregunta es abierta i check my email, my email every morning or every time or at night every, every, day. every day correct yes for example, here, another question number 10 is when do you study English? Cuando estudias inglés, right? So then I study English on Sunday, on Monday, on Tuesday. Let me, uh, we're going to practice this every day. Every day, okay. I study English on uh, weekdays. On weekdays. Okay. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock, exactly. I study English at seven o'clock. Let me see here. Um, let me show you something else here. I need to erase all of this, okay, and have another one. So we have uh, the days of the week. So we have, uh, let me see here. Uh, so we have Monday. So we have Tuesday, okay. So Wednesday. Okay, so we have uh, Wednesday. Wellness. Yes. Wednesday. So we have the other one, Thursday. Teacher. So Wednesday. We have, yes. Friday. Okay. Saturday. Saturday and Sunday. Sunday. Exactly, right? So uh, these are, let me see, let me see. Uh, let Teacher, one mistake and Wednesday. Oh, yeah, exactly. Thank you. Wednesday. So we have Monday is not more. Don't say mo Monday. It's a ah, Monday. Monday. The other one Monday. is Tuesday. 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 This one is don't say Wednesday. No, no Wednesday. It's just Wednesday. 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 Okay. Wednesday. Yes. The, the other one is third. Thursday. Thursday. Friday and Saturday. Sunday. So we have this one are these are weekends, right? Weekends, Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. But we have uh, uh, weekdays, Monday. These are week weekdays. Día de trabajo, día de semanas. Tenemos lunes, de lunes a viernes, right? Los fines de semana, weekends. Estamos hablando sábado y domingo. So we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then we have weekends, Saturday, and Sunday. So uh, let me see here. Uh, the pronunciation is is like if you say like Monday, Tuesday. Don't say Tuesday. No, it's just Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Caesar, give me the days of the week. Caesar, Caesar, read them. The audio, Caesar. The audio. You need to set up the audio. Repítame los días de la semana. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 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 it's like for example here, uh, let, let me see if I can put it here. What did I do? Okay, so we have this one is Monday, right? Monday. Monday. Tuesday. Tuesday. This one is Wednesday. Wednesday. 
Wednesday. Thursday. 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 Friday, and then we have weekends like Saturday, Saturday and Sunday. Sunday. Sunday, yeah. Okay. Uh, let, Sunday. Me see, let, let me see if I can write the pronunciation here. Uh, Happy hour. Okay, this one is like, if you say like Monday. Monday. Monday, right? Um, it's like Monday. The other one is like, if you say like Tuesday. 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 The other one is like, if you say like when Wednesday, like, like this one. Uh, let me see. Uh, Wednes, 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 and then day, Wednesday. 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 The other one is li like, if you say like, like third, thurs, Thursday. 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 Thursday, exactly. The other one is, is not Friday. No, no Friday. It's Fry. 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 And then day. Friday. 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 This one is, yeah, we get sa, 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 Saturday. You can say Saturday or Saturday. 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 Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. And this one is like open up, sun, like sun. And then we have this one, day, Sunday. Okay, um, go ahead, let me see. Uh, Zizar, go ahead. Monday, repeat it, the days of the week. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, uh, Sunday. Sunday, okay, that is correct, okay. Carlos, you're the next. Carlos? Man Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, Friday. Third, 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 because Saturday is this one. Sir, Saturday, 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 Friday, 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 Friday yeah. Saturday, Sunday. And Sunday. Exactly. Right. This is the uh, pronunciation. Pronunciation. Okay. Now we're going to uh, practice this. So we're going to work in pairs and then you need to ask all of these questions, right? Uh, we're going to practice in, in pairs and we're going to practice like uh, a, all of these questions. For example, let me see. Uh, what times do your parents have dinner? So then my parents have dinner at 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. I don't know, right? So we need to practice all these questions. Todas estas preguntas, ahora las vamos a practicar en parejas, right? Re -re Remember, long answers, respuestas largas, no yes or no, right? For example, if I said here, um, eh, I would say, for example, Samael. Samael, yes. for example, I would say, um, uh, does your father drive to work every morning? Um, not, my father no drive. My father no drive. No drive. Mm -hmm. Remember, remember the auxiliary. Necesitamos el auxiliar. Does. Doesn't. Does not. No. My father doesn't drive to work. Okay. okay. My father doesn't drive to work. Okay. Yes. So we're gonna work in pairs and we need to practice all of these questions. You have this question, right? So here we go. And then we have another uh, activity to do. So we're 12, so that will be uh, uh, six people. Uh, I'm sorry, it's six. Yes. Okay, now uh, you need to uh, accept the invitation and practice those questions.
Liliana, Carlos, you need to accept. Carlos, Liliana, you need to accept the invitation. Carlos, you're missing. There you go. Teacher. Yes, señor. Disculpe, la pregunta es que mandó usted ahí, son de libro o son, uh, es... son son las que envié ayer. 
las preguntas ah, bueno, bueno. de WhatsApp. Ajá. We need to practice este, those questions. Ok, okay. Hey, let me uh, send you with a group. Yes. So we got Samael. We need to sign to number. Uh, let me see. Okay. So let me send it with anybody, whoever it goes to. Okay. There you go. Okay. All right. I listen to music only night. At night, yes. I listen to music at night. All right. Now, uh, Claudia, ask a question to Rafael. Ask a question to Rafael. Claudia, a question to Rafael. Okay. Uh, Does your mother on weekdays? Weekdays? On weekdays. 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 Days. Does your mother cook on weekdays? Yes, my mother. Solo si sería teacher. Why? Yes, my mother cooks. Cooks, yeah. Yes, my mother cooks on weekdays. All right. She information. Okay. She cooks breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Right. Yes. Okay. Yes. Continue. Okay. Practice all the questions. Todas las preguntas. All the questions. Okay. Okay. Continue. continue. Teacher, ayúdenme. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Here, tell me. Eh, ¿Cómo se llama? Al formular las respuestas. Es lo que uh -huh. me cuesta. Al formular las respuestas. Al formular las respuestas es lo que me cuesta, teacher. Ok, uh, recuérdese que, que todo se basa, todo se basa en, en los verbos. Tiene que tener los verbos. Tiene que escuchar la pregunta y contestar de acuerdo a lo que le están preguntando. Ok, Carlos, hágale una pregunta a César. Ask a question to César. Do you, do you have lunch at... Do you, do you have lunch at every day? Uh -huh. Ajá. Do you day? have lunch every day? Ok, César. Every day. Entonces, bueno, entonces sería I do lunch. Uh, ok, recuérdese que el do es para solo para hacer preguntas. No, no necesariamente tiene que utilizar el do, porque el, el lunch. Ah, no necesariamente. Ah, ok. Recuérdese que almorzar es have. Y usted puede decir, do you have. ¿Cuál es el verbo principal? Es el have. Entonces usted solo ah. utiliza ese verbo y ese complemento. Usted puede decir, yes. I have lunch at work or every day. Like for example, let me see. Uh, uh, um, do you like to play soccer? Play soccer. Do you play soccer? Oh, then the answer, yes, I play soccer. Mm -hmm. And then for example, uh, okay. a, another question is like, does your mother cook on weekdays? Does your mother cook? Does your mother cook on weekdays? Your mother cooks on weekdays, okay? So then the answer, yes, my mother cooks on weekdays. Cook. Cooks, ajá. Uh -huh. oh, cooks. Como este hecho, o weeknights. 
Eche, no. O sea, weekdays. O sea, o sea que, que no siempre vamos a llevar. No siempre. Ajá. O sea, siempre. Este es siempre para hacer una pregunta, el do y el dos. Siempre una pregunta. Nunca pudo hacer una respuesta con el dos. No, sí. El dos. Sí, sí, recuerde que el do, el do es, es un auxiliar para hacer pregunta. El do o el das. Para Pero también funcionan como verbo. Por ejemplo, si yo le digo a. Uh, eh, por ejemplo, uh, ¿qué, ¿qué haces en, la, en, la, en, la, en las tardes? Usted puede decir, yo hago la tarea. Yo hago mis tareas. Entonces, ahí es hacer, hago. I do my homework. Porque en este caso, sí, el verbo es hacer. Pero si lo utilizamos como pregunta, tiene que llevar el do. Con el I, we, you, they. Like, do you, do we, do they. And third person is, does he, does she. For example, I would say, Carlos, uh, let me see, uh, eh, what do you do? Uh, let me see, uh, let, me, let me ask you another one. It's like, uh, where, do you, uh, where do you live, Carlos? Where do you live? Where do, yeah, yes, I do. Yes, I do live. Ok, pero recuerde, en la respuesta no, no tiene que llevar el do, porque no, no, ese no es el verbo principal. Le estoy preguntando, ¿dónde vive? Where do you live? El verbo es live, vivir. Entonces, solo necesitamos el verbo. Yo vivo en, no sé dónde vive usted, right? For example, ah, ajá. Uh, ok, ok, ok. Ajá, es que ya, es live, es que está live y live, ¿cómo es? Es que está... Live, y el otro es... Live. Ajá. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes, we have this one. Let me show you. Re remember, Carlos, cuando le pregunta con el W es question, no necesita el yes. Si yo le pregunto, like, uh, uh, where do you live? Right? ¿Dónde vives? El verbo principal es vivir. So, la respuesta, I live in I, I, Lourdes, for I example. In, right? Uh, Mar Lourdes, I live in San Marcos, I live in Apopo, I live in Santa Tecla, I don't know, right? Good. Si yo le pregunto, por ejemplo, uh, sí, siempre, o sea, siempre solo, solo uso el verbo de vivir, de, de donde vivo. I live, I live y digo. Correcto. Lourdes, I live Lourdes. No, 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 I live Lourdes, I, I live, live in, in, in Lourdes. Uh -huh. For example, let me see. Uh, I live in Lourdes. Yes. Okay, okay. When I live, you ah, yeah. study English, for example, you have, Ay, a que yo you have another question here is like, Carlos, it says, uh, when do you study English? Mm -hmm. Ahí sería, I, I, yes, I am, no, yes. Como me pregunta si yes, estudio inglés. Yes, I study English. Yes, I yes. study English. Ah, correct. Yes, Carlos? Yes, I study English. Correct. Okay. No tiene que... No, en este caso le estoy preguntando a uh, cuándo estudia inglés. Si usted me dice sí. Entonces, el, el sí, uh, el yes ya no es necesario. Solo uh, la, uh, la oración. Okay. Solo la oración. El W es question. Este es... ¿Cuándo, right? ¿Cuándo estudia, ¿Cuándo estudia inglés? Ok, entonces usted ya no tiene que decir yes or no. Solo da la respuesta. ¿Cuándo estudia inglés? Carlos, when do you study English? Ajá, Carlos. Ahí dice, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry? Sería year. ¿Cómo puedo decir ahí, teacher? Year. ¿Cuándo estudio inglés? Ajá, ¿cuándo? Eh, I am studying English eh, wet days. On Wednesday, ok. Ok, uh, no, Wednesday. no, no, ah, I am. Recuerde que aquí no va el verbo to be, solo. ¿Cuál es el verbo principal acá? Carlos, ¿cuál es el verbo ah, principal? 
When, when. No, when no es un verbo. Recuerde que un verbo es, es art. Estudie, estudie, estudie. Study, study. Está, está, está. Si yo doy una respuesta, una respuesta, yo digo I, yo, luego el verbo, estudio. Ahí está en inglés. Luego le estoy preguntando cuándo. Significa que puede ser un día de la semana. Cuándo. O puede ser días de las semanas. O usted puede decir, yo estudio inglés todos los días. O usted puede decir, yo estudio inglés on, on weekdays. Los días de la semana. right? O si quiere especificar solo un día, solo acá. Uh, I study English on Friday. Monday. Or Monday, or Tuesday, or Wednesday. Mm -hmm. For example, if I say like, uh, when do you uh, hear? When do you play soccer? Let me see. Uh, Cesar, when do you play soccer? I play. Uh -huh. I play. Mm -hmm. I play weekends. I play weekends. Okay, yes, let me see. I play weekends. Uh, yo, yo juego fin de semana. ¿Quién Todos juega? los días. ¿Quién juega? Uh, okay. Yo. No, aquí, aquí estamos bien. I play weekends, pero si usted me dice, yo jugar fines de semana, pero ¿qué juega el fin de semana? Yes, yeah. Ajá. Yo play soccer full. No, no, I, I play, I play. I, I play, play weekends I, I play soccer. soccer. I play weekend soccer. No, uh, it's... I play soccer weekend. On weekends, I play soccer on weekends. Okay? Juego en ah, fines siempre. de semana, right? I play soccer on weekends. Simplemente tiene que escuchar sí, el sí. verbo principal y contestar de acuerdo a ese verbo. Por ejemplo, si yo le pregunto en terceras personas, uh, where does your uh, brother work. Ok. ¿Qué pregunta tengo acá? César, ¿qué le estoy preguntando? Where does your brother work? Uh -huh. ¿Qué le estoy preguntando? César, where does your brother work? Mi hermano trabaja. Where? Uh -huh. no, sé no sé qué significa. Where teacher. Bueno. Ok, te, tenemos que primero... Te, se, hacer... ¿Dónde, ¿Dónde trabaja tu hermano? Creo que es Correcto, tenemos que entender lo que son los WS ¿Cuándo? ¿Dónde? ¿Quién? ¿Cuál? Ok, para, para entender la pregunta. El where es dónde, de location, right? So, exacto, como Carlos dijo, ¿dónde trabaja tu hermano? Entonces, ¿a quién nos estamos refiriendo acá? Uh, aquí, Tercera a él. Persona. Ajá. ¿A, ¿A quién me estoy refiriendo? Where does your brother work? ¿Dónde trabaja tu hermano? ¿A quién me estoy refiriendo? Al hermano, al brother. Al hermano, a él. Ok, so my, my brother, right? A mi hermano. Ok, my brother. ¿El verbo? ¿Cuál es el verbo acá? Where. Exactly, right? En tercera persona se le pone la S. Recuérdense, o -E S. My Pero brother ya. works at Ironman. Ok. Mi hermano My trabaja brother. en Aeroman. My brother works at Aeroman. So, dependiendo de la pregunta, that's the, uh, that's the answer. Ok. So, you have to continue practice. Continue with the question. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Yes, you're welcome. Yeah, I need to visit the other people. All right. Continue. Ask questions. You need to ask questions. Teacher. Yes, finish. I finished the, the question in this moment and the practice uh, pronunciation about the weekdays and weekend. Yeah, okay, perfect. Weekdays, remember weekdays is from Monday to Friday. Yeah. And mm -hmm. weekends is Saturday and Sunday. Saturday, Saturday yeah. Saturday. And Sunday, Saturday. yes. For, for example, uh, if I ask Samael, uh, let me see, for example, yes. uh, When do you go out with your friends? When do you go out with your friends? Go out. What is go out? It's like 
visit places. Like for example, I, I will I will tell Herson, Herson, let's go to El Pital. Let's go out to El Pital. So Samael, yes. When do you go out with your friends? Um, I go to I go with my friends and at holiday. Okay, I, I go out, I out. go out, I go, I go out. out with my friends on holidays, on vacation, okay? Yes, that's the question. Okay. For example, yes, uh, let me see, um, uh, let me see, uh, Herson, Herson, um, when, when does your brother play video games? When does your brother play video games? My brother play video game mm -hmm. in the morning. In the morning, okay. In the morning, that is correct. So yes. there's, there, for example, Ruth. Uh, when do you and, and your family, uh, let me see, um, have a picnic? When do you and your family have a picnic? I, I, we have a picnic um on saturday okay we have picnics on saturday yeah that is correct mm -hmm. okay yes so uh we're, we're gonna go back to the class right so we need to continue with other now we're gonna have a listening okay That was fast. That was really fast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> only <laughs> only <laughs> things. <laughs> Everybody's coming back. Yes. So, you know, to use the do or does is really it's important in English because it's one way to communicate. Teacher. Yes. Eh, quisiera preguntarle algo a usted solamente. No sé si se Oh, okay, but uh, okay, so you need to, uh, in this case, uh, in the WhatsApp, you can send me a message to the WhatsApp. Okay, okay, no problem. Great, yes. Okay, everybody, uh, remember, do and does. If you, um, if you go, for example, if you visit your, uh, let me see, I'm sorry, uh, your book, on page number, I think it's 30, page 30. Página 30 en su libro, right? 30. Página 30 en su libro. Tiene, uh, here it says, lo que estamos viendo, information question. Information questions, all right? Information questions. So we have the first one, let me see. Uh, let me get one of you. Uh, let me see. Uh, Walter, read the first one. Number one. All right. Uh -huh. Number one. Yes. What do you, what do I do? Exactly. And the answer, some, Misael? I super, 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 no. Supervise, uh-huh. Supervise the production workforce. Workforce, exactly, okay. Next, uh, Claudia, question number two. Where? Claudia. Claudia? Where do you work? Okay, great. So, where great. do you work? Okay, and the answer, Liliana? Liliana is not here. I work in the accounting department. Yes, I work in the accounting department. I work accounting in the accounting. Department. Yes. Good. So we have another one. Let me see. Uh, accounting. Where is the rest? I don't see everybody here. Uh, I only see just a few of you. So we got Carlos, Rafael, Alexander. Okay, Cesar. Question number three. When? When do you 
Cuento. When the boots. Caesar. Go to meetings. When do you wait to meetings? Meetings. Is the question meetings. is remember when do we go to meetings? When do we go to meetings? Herson, the answer is we go to meeting two times a week. Two times a week. Week. Remember? Week. The ending week. like k. k week. 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 Say week. Person, yeah. week. Week. Exactly, right? No weed, because weed is like marijuana. Yes. We. Yeah. <laughs> weed is marijuana, right? It's marijuana. So in this case, it's okay. week. Yes. Week. Week. Yeah. All right, next. Uh, Liliana, it says how. Teacher, acaba de llegar, no entiendo. Disculpe. Acaba de llegar, no, 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 no entiendo. Okay, uh, lea Esa la, pregunta. la pregunta. Re read the question here. How do... How do you... They plan... No, how do they, uh -huh. the, how, how do they plan the marketing? Okay. How do they plan the marketing? And Alexander, they... Alexander? They investigate. They investigate the uh -huh. in customer need. They investigate the customer's need. Exactly. And Rafael, the other one? The last one? What time do you take breakfast? What time do you take breakfast? Okay. What time do you take breakfast? And uh, let me see, uh, Samael, the answer? I take breakfast at 8 a.m. At 8 a.m., correct, yes. I take breakfast at 8 a.m. Now, uh, let me see, I'm gonna go here. Now we need to formulate questions. It says, create questions based on the answers. For example, here, it says, uh, Misael, I have to write a report Great. about the production every Friday. What is the yeah. question? You was. When do what you, do. No, what, what I do. Have, no, what do you I? No. What do you I? No, it's only one subject. No, what do you. When. What do you have to write? Report. Okay. When you have. When, when yeah, when, when. When okay. you have to write a report. When do you have to write a report? Yes, it's correct. When do you have to write a report? Yes. For example, that is correct. And then I have this other one. Um, Carlos, I work in the blue building. What is the question? Where, where do you work? Mm -hmm. Carlos, I work in the blue building. What is the question? Where? Carlos? Where do you work? Carlos? Where do you work? Okay, I think Carlos is not there. Okay. Uh, where do you work? Yes, it's correct. Next, for example, it says, um, Maria and I start working at 10 p.m. So, Ruth, what is the question? Um, uh, when do you and Maria start work? Exactly. When do you and Maria start working? Yeah, that is the question. Yes. and oh, then, working, yeah. Sorry. Start working. Yes, and then you have other WS questions, and I will send you. Uh, you can complete it if you can uh, in your in your time and your free time if you have time. But uh, uh, I'm gonna send you a homework. Le voy a enviar una tarea para mañana acerca de crear preguntas WH questions. Tenemos que preguntar, right? In the WH questions. 
But right now, we're, we're going to do a listening. I sent you a, a, a picture to your WhatsApp. It's in the WhatsApp. I don't know if you can check it. This one. Yes, you need to be ready with your notebook and your pencil or your pen. Okay. Get up early. Yes, yeah. for example, sorry. It says, uh, read the indications. Walter, listen. Listen to Kayla talk about. Listen to Kayla take about here weekly routine. Weekly routine. Take weekly routine. Uh -huh. Take the day the show, the day she does each right. It's mine. Yeah, each thing. Okay, so it's a listening. Vamos a hacer un, uh, uh, una, vamos a hacer una actividad de listening. Tiene que estar listo en su cuaderno, su lapicero, a escuchar, right? Uh, es, por ejemplo, tenemos a Kayla. Kayla va a describir su rutina que hace de lunes a domingo. Entonces, usted tiene que seleccionar, por ejemplo, I get up early. Me levanto temprano. ¿Cuándo? On Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Usted tiene que poner un cheque los días que ella se levanta temprano. Okay? Ready? Yes. And, and then we have other activities like go to work, play tennis, go shopping, see friends, dinner with family, and study. So you need to pay attention and check. Tiene que escuchar atentamente y Ponerle un cheque el día que realiza esa actividad. Es probable que lo, ha, lo hace todos los días de la semana. Right? Ready? Are you ready? No, teacher, no. Okay. Ready, ready, ready. Ready? Okay. So we yes, have... ready. Ready, okay. Uh, listen carefully. Listen to Kira talk about her weekly routine. Check the day she does each thing. Get up early, go to work, play tennis, go shopping, see friends, dinner with family, and study. Listen and check. Okay? So everybody, listen. Liliana, ready? todos, como siempre. Yeah. Okay. okay, here we go. Page 40. Exercise 8. Listening. Well, I get up early on weekdays and on Saturdays. I go to school from Monday to Friday, and I work on Saturdays, so I get up around 7 o'clock. How about on Sundays? Sundays? That's the day I sleep late. What else do you do? I mean, what do you do for fun during the week? I love tennis. I play three times a week, on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Oh, and I also go shopping on Saturdays after work. What about the rest of the weekend? When do you see your friends? Let's see. I see friends on Fridays and Saturdays. That's in the evening, but not on Sunday evenings. My family always eats dinner together then. When do you study? Every day. Wow, you're really busy. Every day. <laughs> Every day? Got it? So you need to listen Every carefully, right? Remember, if I say weekdays, I know things. Weekdays, weekdays. So you, for example, if I say, 
I get up early on weekdays. ¿A qué días me refiero, Gerson? Si yo digo, me levanto, I, I get up early on weekdays. ¿A qué días me refiero? De lunes a viernes. Días de semana. Días de semana. Correcto, right? Tiene que escuchar. Esa... trabaja ella. Estudia ella. If she says, uh, for example, I go to work. Let me see, for example, in my case, I work uh, on weekdays and also I work on Saturday. Okay, so you need to check Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay, second time. Second time. Vamos a escuchar nuevamente. Here we go. Listen carefully. Age 40. Exercise 8. Listening. Kayla's weekly routine. Listen to Kayla talk about her weekly routine. Check the days she does each thing. Do you get up early every day, Kayla? Well, I get up early on weekdays and on Saturdays. I go to school from Monday to Friday, and I work on Saturdays, so I get up around 7 o'clock. How about on Sundays? Sundays? That's the day I sleep late. What else do you do? I mean, what do you do for fun during the week? I love tennis. I play three times a week on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Oh, and I also go shopping on Saturdays after work. What about the rest of the weekend? When do you see your friends? Let's see. I see friends on Fridays and Saturdays. That's in the evening, but not on Sunday evenings. My family always eats dinner together then. When do you study? Every day. Wow, you're really busy. Yeah. Misael? Okay. Pasa muy ocupada. She's very busy. <laughs> Todos los días estudia, todos los días cena con la mamá, sale de, al shopping los fines de semana después del trabajo, Exacto. juega tenis. Pesca la semana, tenis. Everything, right? So she does many things. Okay. So so you you go. Go. Let's check. Um, it says, get up early. Claudia, when, when does she get up early? Claudia? When? Saturday. Only Saturday? Only sal Saturday, escuché, teacher. Okay. Let me see. Uh, Caesar, when does she get up early? When? When does she get up early? Monday. Monday. Monday to Friday. Weekday. Yes. She, she, she gets up uh, late on weekdays, right? Weekdays, Monday, Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Saturday. Yes. Good. And uh, what about go to work? Uh, let me see. Uh, uh, Raphael, when does she go to work? The weekday. Huh? Every weekday. Every weekdays. 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 Every weekdays. Weekday. She goes to work on every weekdays from Monday to Friday. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, is that correct, uh, Walter? Hi. We will check later. For example, Walter, when does she play tennis? When does Kayla play tennis? When does she play tennis? She plays tennis on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday. Thursday. Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Monday, Tuesday, and Tuesday. Monday, Tuesday, and Tuesday. Yeah, remember it's three times. Three times a week, but it's not Tuesday. It's Q, Tuesday, and Tuesday. Thursday. 
Thursday. Okay. And uh, let me see uh, another one here. Uh, let me get another one. Carlos, are you there? Carlos, can you listen to Samael? All right, Samael. Yeah. Go, go shopping. When does she go shopping? When does she go shopping? Saturday. Saturday. Okay. We'll Saturday. Saturday. Saturday after the work. After work. That is correct. Yes. After work. So then we have another one. Let me see. Uh, uh, Carlos, see friends. Yes, and you hope. Yes, Friday, you know. Friday, no, it's, it's not Friday. Remember, pronunciation is Friday. 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 Uh huh. Friday and Saturday. And Saturday. And Saturday. Okay. And let me see, Herson. A dinner with family. Weekday. Weekdays from Monday to Friday. Okay. Claudia, is that correct? Dinner with family. When? When does she have dinner with family? Saturday. Okay. Saturday. Tuesday, creo que dijo. Saturday and Tuesday, okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, Ruth, what do you have? All day. Dinner with family? I I, I listened only Sunday because uh, the other days, uh, the other weekend. activities. Other activities. And, and, and Misael, you said every day. Okay. And uh, let me see uh, the other one, uh, Raphael, study. When does she study? Every day. Every day. Every day. Okay. From Monday, from Monday to Friday in English. Remember, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yes, in English. Every day, English. Every day teacher. Every day. Okay, so let's see. So we have. Sorry. We have uh, get up early yes. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Ooh, Saturday. Saturday, yeah. Okay, it's correct. And then go to work only Saturday, only Saturday, only one day, only Saturday. And then play tennis, yes, play tennis on Monday. Tuesday and Thursday. Thursday. Yes. Tuesday. Tuesday. No, third. Like, 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 third. Theta A. Thursday. 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 Thursday is like A. Eh. Thursday. Thursday. Yes. And then uh, go shopping only Saturday. Yes. I, I, Saturday. Saturday. See friends. See friends only Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday. Yes. And dinner with family only Sunday. On okay. Sunday. Yes. And study every day. Every, every day. day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Right? Yes. So those are the days of the week. Days of the week. The days of the week, yes. Remember, it's now free day. Carlos, what is it? Carlos? Friday. Yes, teacher. Okay, free day is correct? No. No, correct. No, no. Friday. 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 Okay. Uh, for example, no. Walter, Thursday is correct? No, Mister. It's Thursday. It's third. Remember, it. Thursday. Thursday. Exactly. All right. I will say, for example, let me see. Uh, Ruth, Wednesday. Is that correct? Wednesday. Wednesday. No. It's uh -huh. Wednesday. 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 It's correct. Okay. Good. For example, Liliana, Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Thank you. Okay. Cesar, 
Sunday. Sounds so strange. Okay. Sunday. <laughs> Sounds so strange. All right. It's Sunday. Exactly. Remember? Monday to Sunday. When I say, for example, uh, when I say weekdays, weekdays, it's from Monday to Friday. Monday from Monday to Friday. Yes. So we have, for example, uh, if you want to talk, uh, I don't know, why do I have this thing here? Okay. Uh, cuando usted quiere decir, por ejemplo, que, que trabaja dos, tres o cuatro días, usted, usted puede decir, por ejemplo, from the day, right? From Monday to Friday, ¿ok? Aquí es de lunes a viernes. I work from Monday to Friday. Or, for example, you can say here, uh, Thursday, right? I work from Monday Thursday. to Thursday, right? De lunes a jueves. Thursday. Okay, Thursday. Yes. From Monday to Thursday. From and to. From and to. Yes. Okay. Uh, to. I'm gonna send you. Uh, I'm gonna send you uh, some exercises to have more WH question because I know that we have some difficulties, but we need to talk more. And also, um, I think. Uh, do you have any family, uh, any family member that uh, is studying English or understand English? Yes. No? Okay, yes. perfect. Yes. Uh, uh, para, para el, el viernes vamos a tener una tarea que va a ser de uh, eh, escoger algún miembro de la familia, un amigo, alguien que esté aprendiendo inglés o que hable inglés. Porque les voy, a, les voy a enviar como una, una serie de preguntas que usted va como a entrevistar a esa persona. Viceversa, usted le pregunta, ellos le preguntan. Luego va como a grabar la conversación. Entonces yo le pregunto, por ejemplo, ok, uh, ok, uh, Carlos, uh, eh, what do you do in the morning? Ok, uh, and so when do you do these things? Just talking. Tenemos que grabar una, una conversación right. con alguien más que no sea los compañeros. All right? That's what we're going to do. So for tomorrow, I'm going to send you some exercises about WH questions, right? Do one ask. Okay? okay. Thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow, Thank you, everybody. Teacher. I'll see everybody. you tomorrow. Bye. Right? Bye. See you. Bye. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.